Welcome to the art shop at Moore College of Art and Design, the nation's first and only women's art college. Here in the art shop, we feature work exclusively from students and alumni. Here we have an alumna who's, uh, who works here in the suburbs of Philadelphia, and she uses traditional millinery craft to make these handmade hats. And they're hand-blocked felt over antique wooden forms, and then she hand-makes each of her flowers out of silk and other fine craft materials. Here we have an alumna from 1999, Day Rebecca Sanchez. She's also a local to Philadelphia. She lives in King of Prussia. And she does um, an experimental collage medium where she takes photographs of herself and her friends and her children and her other surroundings and then transfers them onto paper and onto canvases so that she can paint and collage into them. Here we have some wonderful fiber scarves from a 1979 alumna, Diane Precup. Her scarves are kind of a mystery to customers, especially people who knit or do other textile work. They get really close up to them to try and figure out how they're made. They do have a very fine quilted stitch throughout the whole thing so that each of her individual fibers get sandwiched between and create this whole new textile. They have great drape too. Keeps me warm. <laughs> My name is Amy Gilmore. I'm a senior here at Moore College of Art and Design studying fine arts with a minor in textiles. I'm originally from Philadelphia where I was born and raised and I still currently live and work. So I made this tea set. It's a teapot which pours with two matching cups. I also enjoy making things out of found and upcycled materials. So this necklace here is made from found ribbon and it's inspired by a Japan, Japanese lantern and one of the fun parts of this necklace is because of its accordion fold, you can play around with the sizing and the shape of it. All right, hi, my name is Hannah Lee. Um, I'm an art education senior at Moore College of Art and Design. Um, I sell my monsters here at the art shop. So this is one of my monsters. Um, I think I just doodled this one and I like to um, like go fabric shopping, take the doodles with me and find fabrics that match, um, I guess, the, kind of the look and personality of the monster. And um, I attach little stories with them. So when I make most of these monsters, a lot of the uh, fabric is purchased locally. Some of it's online, depending on what patterns and colors I believe fits the monster best. And um, a few years ago, I was doing all of this by hand, which is a very tedious process. But uh, through the art shop selling these monsters, I was able to purchase a sewing machine. And now they're better made, and um, it takes me a lot less time to make them. Thanks for visiting us here at the art shop, where you can find things that are made, made in America. America.